Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching. And today we are down by the river. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a look at the river, it was sitting really, really high up in flood. Um, and today it's almost back to normal. <laughs> so we're going to go and have a uh, little look down along here. So when we did the video the other day, we're on our bike, on the electric bike. First place we started was down here by the bridge and we were looking at these bollards out here. Well, we weren't actually looking at these bollards because you couldn't see them, they were underwater. But uh, as we see this, uh, this boat just sliding through behind this bollard here, gives you some idea of just how, how tall these things are. I mean, there, that's got to be, I don't know, it's hard to judge from here. It's got to be, oh, oh, gee, I don't even know. At least six metres above water there now. Uh, on that boat, as it comes out from behind, we'll be able to maybe just pick out the height of a doorway. You can see a doorway just above the bollard there, up on the bridge. And, yeah, they're tiny compared to those bollards. So, the river's come down a long way. We actually didn't see, just up here on the bridge, They've actually got this gauge uh, telling us how high the river is, which I didn't actually notice that the other day. That would have been nice to actually have a look at. But we're gonna go for a walk along here, just to give you an idea of how high the river was, where it was and stuff. So as we turn around to our right here, all of this river bank here is normally vegetable gardens, vegetables, fruits, all that sort of thing. And we can see everything is gone all the plants it's just there's nothing left here it's just a just a muddy bank as far as you can see we have some guys down here doing a bit of fishing and they would have been uh they would have been way 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 up here the other day <laughs> you know a week ago even it's uh Quite phenomenal. Oh, let's get onto this path here. Even though there's no plants here, we'll stay and try and stay on the path so we can just sort of see the remnants of where some of the uh, some of the growing happened here, which they haven't come back and uh, replanted yet. But no doubt that'll happen pretty quickly. Looks like there's a little field just up the way here that they've already started uh, getting ready to plant things again. We'll have a look when we get up a little bit closer. So all of this up here was underwater. And the water came pretty much, pretty much right up to the uh, pathway up the top here. So yeah, here we can see there have been people down here tilling this ground, getting it ready for, for new new planting so they are starting to get things back to normal again like i say so this footpath up here you see how far down the water is from here this footpath i can't remember if we were underwater here or not at this point but uh we certainly were further up the way here which we'll give you a look at as we wander along the track here so when we came uh when was that? Three weeks ago? I can't exactly remember how long ago the river peaked. I remember it was a Friday night that it peaked. It was a Friday night we came down on the bike. And we couldn't get down here. We had to ride up along the uh, footpath up the top here because if the water wasn't up to this path, it was certainly very, very close to this path. And uh, yeah, the sort of places where you go, which you'll see up in front of us, the places where you actually ride around to get down onto this path, even if the path here wasn't underwater, above uh, where you actually access here certainly was underwater and under a hell of a lot of water. So we've still got plants here, so I'm Presuming the water didn't quite get up onto this path here. There are still 
a couple of little garden areas right up high that are still that are still here but most of everything has been washed away it's, it's bloody hot here today it is a uh, very very hot day again it's uh i don't know what the time would be it's about 1:30 in the afternoon you know right in the right in the middle of the heat but i've come down now because being this time of day most people are at home having a rest after lunch so it's a bit quiet there's not going to be too many people around getting in the way Whee. so this building up in front of us uh, I'm not exactly sure what this building is I should investigate it'll be something to do with either monitoring water levels or monitoring shipping I've got a feeling this one is to do with shipping but I could I could be wrong on that but yeah the uh, bridge here where they access that building uh, there was no way under here because the water was up over the path up at this end and we'll certainly be putting some uh, putting some clips that we took from the video the other day just so you can sort of see the contrast see the difference between between what it was like then and what it's like now because <laughs> it's pretty phenomenal as I was sort of walking along the river here back to where we started there under the bridge I was looking at the width of the river now this is at this point the rivers I think it's about eight or nine hundred meters wide and we're looking at the water having been at least I would think six meters higher than it is now and it got me thinking just how much water is that that's a hell of a lot of water so I remember looking at this bridge here where we walk under here as we were coming past and the water was definitely up over the path here so you can see a bit of mud and uh, stuff left over on the ground still they've been around sweeping this up cleaning this up I think here it was actually very very shallow it was only just getting up over the path here but then this path that we ride the bikes down around this was totally gone absolutely amazing so yeah there's oh we've got a got a guy swimming out there in the water he's braver than i'd be as much as i'd love to jump in some water and go swimming to cool off that's not water that i'd be very comfortable in so yeah this this bike path down here just around to the right uh, this was still underwater when did I come down here three or four days ago there was still water over the path here and uh, it has finally dropped right away back to almost normal levels we're probably still sitting maybe two or three feet higher than normal but much much closer to normal so down around here this whole path here as you can see here this was all underwater we got a, we got a higher bike here that's been uh well and truly drowned try and see some markings as to how high the water got up to it's a bit hard to judge right from here but i would think up to roughly where the grass is a little bit greener sort of about here so it was well up i know this uh this fence at its highest was 
absolutely underwater. This was, yeah, not visible at all. In fact, we'll get a better idea. Up here, there's a, uh, a light stand, which will give you a really good idea of how high the water was. Because I do remember actually filming that and pointing it out the other day. I think it was that one. It might be one a little bit further along. So we're down here almost at water level here now. Another guy down there fishing. <laughs> Sign caked in mud. So heading up. Okay, so up here we have this little car park, which this up here was, uh, yeah, right, that's right, I remember now. This here was underwater. So where we were pointing out where the, uh, where the water level was on the other side. No, it was way higher than I was thinking. So this here is a car park and we'll get down to the other side here where we can see the water. And it'll give you a good, good idea of just how high this was. So we saw people walking in this car park and they were probably up to their knees in water. You could just sort of see the tops of these, uh, these plants making the square around the car park. And we can see down here how far below this the water is. <laughs> it's just amazing. Uh, someone who knows how to calculate water volume, you'll have to uh, try and work out how much water would take to fill this, let's say 900 meters wide, up by six or seven meters. <laughs> and I don't know, if we go from this bridge to the far bridge here in Duanzhou, you're probably talking 10 kilometers. So what would that volume of water be? I've got one hint, it'll be bloody huge. So all of this here was underwater. Couldn't get through here to the, uh, to the public area in here. Okay, let's go and find this light pole up here. Well, I think it's a light pole. It had a solar panel on the top. <laughs> so all of this, even right up as we get up the top here was underwater. It was just phenomenal. Hey, she is warm out here. So yeah, I'm not sure where all the water came from. I don't know how much of it was rainfall further up the river system and how much of it was maybe going further up into the mountains and being uh, snow melt and that sort of thing. So the steps here The water was right up over here, if I remember correctly. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't these steps. Maybe it was the next steps. This might be a little bit too high. Just trying to see, can we see? No, it might've been the next step. So this has got this raised platform. It was further down where the steps were actually <laughs> covered up. But, uh, yeah, the water was definitely, definitely up over here. And if we go down towards the uh, bottom of the sort of public square area down here. Wow, so along here, there used to be all plants you'd go and sit next to, get a bit out of the sun, 
they've all gone, washed away. And we can see they've been uh, clearing up some of the mud down here. So this is just caked in mud. Wow, look at this. So all the river bottom. Wow, that's, oh, that's still soft. So yeah, I mean, the water was way, 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 way up here. And you can see just how far, how far down we are now. And yeah, right down to the water's edge. It's uh, pretty amazing. Boats are running again, so yeah, all the boats were shut down during the flooding. And then, I'm trying to find this, uh, this light pole that we saw. Oh, it was this one over here. We've gone past. Okay, so we're going to head back. We're not going to follow right the way down as far as we rode the other day, because we are on foot, and it is a lot further. But yeah, this uh, <laughs> water level is just amazing. Like I say, like I said in the video, I've been here seven years. It's the highest I've ever seen it. And I've been told by you know, locals that it is the highest. It is the highest it's been uh, since 1994 was what I was told. So this, uh, oh, it's a bit hard to see. We'll have to walk down a bit closer. So in front of us here, we've got this light post or whatever it's for. It's got a solar panel on here for power, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's lights. We'll have a look when we get closer. Yeah, this light post up in front of us here. Is it a light post? Okay, no, it looks like it's operating a camera. Some sort of remote camera system on top of here. But the water The water was basically lapping at the bottom of this solar panel. And you can see how far down the water is from that level. That's just mind blowing. It was, it was a pretty bloody amazing, a pretty bloody amazing time. So yeah. So that's the look here, we're sort of back, back to normal. Uh, like I say, I think the river's probably got another couple of feet to drop, but it's almost back to normal. But uh, we're going to leave it there, hopefully with some of the, uh, some of the other video, give you a good idea of just how, how much things have changed here. And, uh, yeah, it's, oh, turn this tracking off. What are you doing? Come back, camera. What the friggin' heck? Ah, stop it. Ah, you. F the friggin' heck are you doing? Okay, I think we're back under control again. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> So yeah, that gives you some idea of uh, what the summertime's like here with lots of water coming down from further inland and how much of a difference it makes without these uh, big levees along the river here. <laughs> Chaching would have been in real trouble. But they seem to hold really, really well. I didn't hear of any flooding uh, within Jiaqing itself. There are a couple of other cities that had water break through some of the levees, 
Um, but I didn't see any really bad flooding. I didn't hear of anybody being injured or killed or anything like that. So hopefully everybody managed to keep themselves safe and healthy. Uh, yeah, I have heard floods in the past where there have been reports of people dying and stuff. But I didn't hear anything this year, which is a good thing. So hopefully everybody managed to stay safe and uh, not lose too much property with any luck. So, yeah, that's about it for today. <coughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. If you've enjoyed this, hit that like button, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Questions and comments, hit us up in the comment section below. And, uh, <coughs> and if you have anything you'd like to see about life here in China, again, Hit us up in the comment section below if you come up with a good idea. We'll go away and uh, look at making a video for you. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe and we will see you all in the next one. Cheers.